Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Friday of the fourth week of the term, which means this week is the half point of this term. The workload for week four has increased quite a bit since week one of the term and also since week three of the term. We are at that midpoint, which would be equivalent to midterms in a traditional 16 week semester. So typically in a 16 week school semester, during the eighth week or so, students are confronted with midterms, which usually involves a test, which is worth a lot of points and has a big impact on your overall grade. Notice that at this college, and specifically in these eight week terms, the fourth week really demands a lot of the student. This week for my health information data analytics class, I actually did not have a lot of homework. I was able to complete the coursework for that particular class this week in about two days. And I'm talking about almost eight hours per day. So about 16 hours. As I mentioned in my previous video clip where I recorded my thoughts for the third week, I am starting to wake up earlier. So I've been up at six o'clock this week as well every single day. And I've been working on my schoolwork for almost seven to eight hours per day. And as I said earlier, today's Friday. I am almost done with all my homework. I still have some homework to complete for my information systems class. But as I was saying earlier, for my hacker data analytics class, I am completely done with that class. I did actually have a chapter to read this week for that class. Typically, we only have lecture videos to review, but this week we did have an assigned chapter out of one of our textbooks and I was on data visualizations. For my health data analytics class this week, the subject was data visualizations. So we did read that chapter out of our textbook on data visualizations. And we also did some more Excel assignments where we created some visualizations. We created a regular bar graph and a histogram. And for another assignment, we also worked with some other type of data visualization. For our our discussion this week we were required to find a poor data visualization on the internet and it was interesting to see what my classmates found and we commented on each other's poor data visualizations and we also were asked to talk about how we would improve the poor data visualization based on what we have learned this week on data visualizations. My health information systems class has been a lot more demanding this week. We had two assigned chapters to read. It was all about system implementations, the steps to successfully implement an information system, either an EHR or more specialized information system, such as the encoder for coders in the HIM department. The reading was pretty intense. As I said, there were two chapters. There was quite a bit of reading this week for this class, as well as for my other class, my data analytics class. The assigned reading for this week for both classes was quite a bit. I had never had so much reading to do for this term. For the health information systems class, there was also a discussion that was assigned and we also had a quiz and we also had two additional assignments. We started working on a course project this week. This class includes a course project based on implementing an information system or implementing an EHR at a hospital and the course project is being broken into four different assignments which each part of the assignment will be due in the following four weeks which means that I will be pretty busy going forward with this class. This week we had to work on part one of the course project and this is the homework I still have to complete. I did work on it already a little bit earlier in the week, but I ran into some issues. So I had reached out to my instructor and asked for clarification. This week's portion of the course project was based on identifying three EHRs on the internet and comparing and contrasting their functions in a table. And some of the functions were given to us and we had to come up with five additional functions. 
I had some questions about this assignment. I felt that the instructions weren't clear and I had to reach out to my instructor. There was no rubric to follow for this specific assignment, so I felt that I had no guidance. I had to reach out to my instructor. I wrote my instructor an email. It took him about a day to respond. So I am finding that with this particular course, I am having to reach out to my instructor quite a bit. Last week, I reached out to my instructor about a question I had on the assignment and he is responding. He doesn't respond as quickly as some of my other instructors, but he does respond. I guess this is just part of being an online student. It is challenging to have to write an email and ask your instructor for assistance and have to wait some time to hear back for you to be able to move forward with the assignment. But again, that is part of online learning and this is a good experience for me as well because if I become an HIM or HIT teacher in the near future, I can keep these things in mind, the things that I had challenges with as a student, I could address in my course. I do wish some of these courses at this college had a little bit more of variation in the way they present the information to the student. We all have different learning styles and some of us need a combination of learning styles as well to really understand what we should be doing. And I've noticed that some of these courses could really benefit from some type of video instruction. I think it would have been excellent if we had a video going along with this particular course project where the instructor walked us through the course project and gave us examples of what he was expecting to see from us. Or at least just put a rubric out on the course for students to reference. I think that would be very beneficial. But anyways, he did reach out to me and we will move forward with it soon. But those are the issues I am running across. A lot of it has to do with the fact that the assignments and their instructions are not very clear. And it also could be that this area of health information management is not my strength. So I feel like I need more guidance from the instructor than what I am getting. Anyways, overall, like I said earlier, this week has been pretty busy. We are going into week five pretty soon and I am looking forward to moving along. And I am sure next week will be quite busy as well, but I will be back to report next week my thoughts on that week well i need to wrap this up overall things are going well i am keeping up with my work which is as i said earlier a lot of work to keep up with and school is my priority at this moment so that is why i am investing about eight hours per day at least four days a week i really like getting up earlier and even though i am investing so many hours in my school work in the early days of the week it feels good to be done early Early and have at least my weekends off, have that time to rest and to come back fresh on Monday. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.